rolling easy back in the easy garage back at you all right chewy is still stuck up in the shelf there he's he can't believe how we're filling in these uh this blister pack wall with the uh blue card brown backs and all the vintage stuff and i got some more vintage blister packs in i got two boxes in but this video we're gonna we're gonna open both but the first video i gotta send a shout out to um friend of mine kirby and if you don't know him this is the box he sent me we did a a little trade out so we're gonna see how that goes but um if you don't know kirby he is a uh, actually curbs garage on youtube he's got a youtube channel so make sure you go over there check him out uh subscribe to him he needs the subscribers he doesn't need them but it'd be nice if you subscribe to him and he puts a lot of time in his videos he is pretty much like me collects the vintage hot wheels so check him out and if you like him give him a thumbs up but we did a little trade and i already got my box i sent his out late curb you're gonna be getting it in the next day or two so i'm gonna open this and we'll see what we traded for and let's get to it i'm gonna open it from the top let's see yeah, let me open this here. I don't know how he packs his stuff. The other box is from the um, Hot Wheels Mafia. And I know there's a vintage car blister pack that goes up there. He sent me a note. Oh, E3 collector. I'm going to read this later. Because we want to get into looking at the cars. And I don't know if it's anything personal, so I won't read it out loud. He sent me all the Matchbox fire trucks. And I asked him for that. There was one in there I needed, but I didn't want to say, oh, this one, that one. I said, um, if you could get me all of them, that'd be great. Because one is for my childhood uh, display that I'm working on. And here it is right on top. So let's uh, let's open this one. Then we'll get to the fire trucks later. And see what else there is. And he bubble wrapped everything. Man, Curb, you did a killer job. Now I feel bad. I'm opening the first car, and I already feel bad. You packaged and shipped so quick, and here I am slacking. And oh gosh, but this car here. This was kind of one I needed. This is actually the one I, I wanted out of all the fire trucks. Because my childhood collection, I have a picture of myself with a, a bunch of Hot Wheels and stuff. And this is in the photograph. I have one, but in the photograph, there's actually two of them. So I'm trying to recreate the whole scene. So I needed another one of these. And now I have it. It's a matchbox made in England, Lindsay. So this one here is kind of sentimental to me. So thank you, Curb. Thank you for that. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Well, here's a blister pack. Oh, here's something. No, it's something extra. He sent he sent a bunch of stuff. What, why did you do that? And the Tootsie Pops. Now everybody's sending me Tootsie, Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pops. And these, oh my God, I haven't had a Blow Pop in probably oh, 30, over 30 years I haven't had one of these. So I'm going to, I'm going to try that. Oh my gosh. What did you do to me, Curb? It all started with this one car and he made a comment on my video. So let's open it up because mine had gotten wet and he put notes on it. Oh, I'm going to have to send you another box, buddy. I'll, now I'm feeling bad. Let's see. 
Got another note? No. Oh, because of the, the sticky and stickiness on it. Let's see. So I opened one, I opened this car in one of my older videos, probably about four videos back, and it was all damaged and wet. And he told me we can trade. He had one in a blister pack. I don't know why he wanted to give up his blister pack, but mine was um, totally soaking wet. I think it's still over here. Yes, it is. My damaged blister pack, the Speed Fleet. There it is. It was all wrinkled and wet. And he said he would replace it if I sent him the loose one I opened up. So that was that was how this whole deal started. And man, that is killer. Thank you. Thank you, Curb. Let's move on. Okay, these are all I want a Kenner fast ones in there. Oh, because it's a fire rescue. Okay. Let's set these fire trucks aside. And we'll go through them. The matchbox fire trucks that he sent. There's another one. Okay, that and that. Man. Killer, killer, killer. Another fire truck. All right, let's. Uh, okay, this was another part of the trade here. little on um, we kept chatting back and forth chatting back and forth I don't think we should have rushed through a week we could have traded some more stuff and, and I hope you're happy with your box when you get it but uh, this was um, for a couple cars I traded to them it's at the flat out 442 and the blister pack unpunched very clean I was surprised. I don't know, buddy. Do you have an extra one of these? Is that why you gave it up? I I don't want to trade people uh, cars that they want to take out of their collection. If you don't want to get rid of it, do not trade it. But for some reason, maybe he has a mint loose one. But I like the card. He showed me some other blister cards. And that was one I picked out that I needed. So I, I told him, yeah, and this is a surprise. This is a surprise because I traded him. Oh, uh, we traded some sizzlers and I traded him some rumblers. And he sent me the cars we traded because I wanted some sizzlers. But he sent them to me in a red line case. Oh my gosh. Buddy, when you get your package, if you feel like I owe you some money, you let me know. You just let me know, or we can do some more trading. This is so unexpected, and it looks like... God, the case is... The case is in nice condition. Very, very clean. Look at that. The tab's not all rusted out. I know you live in California, so you get the good stuff. And this is some good, good stuff. Let me see if I can get this camera down low. I'm trying to work with this. I don't know why it's not all the way down on the table. Maybe we'll move over this way some. Move these cars and let's see what's in here. Here's your case. Still got a, the original sticker in there. Very cool, very cool. So th this is another one. And this car is, um, I needed this. And what, what's terrible is, well, not terrible, but I was glad he, he showed this. He said, oh, I got three of them. So I said, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take one and part of the trade because I do need it. It's a Farb. It's a Redline Farb. They call them Farbs. 
And at one time, I've done it twice already. I had all four, then I sold them. Then I had acquired four more. And then I sold them again. A lot of times I'll, um, like maybe I'll get the set of them and look, the head turns. These are Farbs, red line. This one's really clean. But um, at the time I, I needed the money to pay bills or whatnot. Sometimes I'll have to sell some cars. And I just noticed the other day I had the, um, the Hot Wheels Real Rider set when I was going through blue cards and I'm missing the Corvette. Well, everybody wanted the Corvette. So at one time, I guess I, I needed the money, but nobody wanted anything else. And I ended up selling the Corvette. So now looking for the Corvette again, but that's how it goes. You got to buy and sell. You can't keep everything. Uh, some people can, but I can't. Sometimes you, uh, you got to uh, sell them off or sell them to upgrade a car. Okay, these are in little baggies also. But they're, they are Sizzler cars. I think 1973 through 74, or 1972 through 74. I'm not going to take it out of the baggie. But there it is, a Sizzler. That's where you plug in your juice machine. This one I also needed. A friend of mine had this about 30 years ago, this, this black one. And I was dying to get it. He ended up selling it. I never acquired it. But now I have it. So these are all pretty much going to be Sizzlers. This, I think it's the same model. I'll take it out of the package. I'll take it out of the uh, little thing. I think this is the same model. Whatever the deal was, he had two of them. He said he's going to send them all, which is very cool. Very cool, cool, cool. Now, this is a different one. And I will, uh, well, this one we'll take out of here. How about we take this out of the plastic? We got to make sure there's no batteries in them either. But there's another one. Not sure the name. I can't really read it offhand. But there's this one in brown. Really cool, really cool model. They probably still have the batteries because you can see it has, looks like it hasn't been opened. So we'll grab the battery out of it and clean her up. And right, let's, let's take this one out so you can get a better look. You might as well see them all. Here's that little black card. I'm not sure the name of these. And you see these sizzlers. All of this was actually chrome at one time. But the battery acid, that's what it does to it, the chrome. And it deteriorates some of the paint, too, on some of the cars. I think the black one holds up so good because it's like a cast in black, not really painted. And we'll move on. You so Why did you send me the Zowie? You sent me the Zowie, too. We were looking at it. I didn't, I didn't need the Zowie, buddy. I have it. Oh, so many goodies. I don't even think we're going to get through this whole video. We we probably are not. And they are wrapped up so good and so tight. But I will show you guys what a Zowie is. I don't think I've done a video on Zowies. I have a bunch of them. And I do have this one, buddy. I... Oh, gosh. And the antenna still made it through it. And it's very clean. It's probably upgrade for mine. The base is shiny. Look at this. A shiny base. Well, thank you because that is definitely going to upgrade mine. Mine probably doesn't even have an antenna. I didn't even notice. But these are little, they're called Zowies. Little teeny little things. I'll do a video on those. These are probably more Sizzlers. Let's see if I can cut through this stuff a little faster. I know you guys are dying to see them. Like, what other Sizzlers did you get? Rolling? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. 
I'm going to show you what my buddy Kirby at Curb's Garage has gotten me. And like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you uh, go over there and check his channel out. You know, give him a su subscription, subscribe to him, and give him a thumbs up. Here's another one, same as that other brown one, but in blue. Sizzler. Oh, no, that's a different car. That's a different model. Almost look the same. There's one I need in a cube. I have them all in their cubes. I have all my other Sizzlers here. But I was trying to get one of each model in a cube, and I'm not sure which one it is. But I think one of these that I've gotten from them will fill that empty cube that uh, the one missing car I need. It may be this black one. It may be that. And I can't remember. So I try to get them all in their original cubes. And... Did pretty good with it. I don't have any of the uh, night riding sizzlers with the, the ones that the headlights came on. I have one loose, but none in packaging. This one, look, it took all the paint off this. We don't even know what color it was. Yes, we do. Like I said, it messes up the chrome. Well, it's more like a, you can see that green in there. Or like a lime, it was probably like a lime green at one time. These are pretty cool. None of them, none of them been open. None of them. I'm going to open these. The batteries are still in them. I guarantee you. Original red line sizzlers. What else? What else? Man, I'm so excited for the Farb. The Farb worked out great. Here's another one. Here's a, a duplicate of the black, which you didn't have to send it to me. Just that I'll send you all the Sizzlers. There it is. So duplicate of that. I think they're, yeah, they're both black. Very cool. Very killer. I've been wanting that car. I've been wanting it. All right, where else are we at? Here's another Sizzler. This is a, like a muscle car, I believe. What is it? The uh, trying to look over there in my case and see what I got. Can't remember exactly what, what car this was. Oh, the Pontiac Firebird in brown. Yeah, the Firebird, Pontiac Firebird. And brown, it's got its original decals on it. And you can see, never, hasn't been open. This one's got clean wheels. Well, this side has clean wheels. That's cool, that's cool. And we'll pull the last two out. These are fire trucks and the cases. Like a bonus. Very cool. I'm going to go look at my case over there. And I think this is going to upgrade my case, buddy. Thank you very much. Let's uh, look to the... What else is this? What is this? Here's something looks a little strange. And here it's a little wrapped up a little bit tighter. I don't think it's one of these fire trucks. We'll open the fire trucks. It's going to be a long video. It's going to be longer than I thought. I thought I'd open a couple cars and then just go with it. Here, oh, there it is. Another Sizzler. Oh, this is when he first pulled them out. I said, yeah, that's Sizzler. I'll take that. Yeah. So this is one, just a color. Another color I didn't have. When they have like a nice color on the body. You know, I'm trying to do all the colors now after I've gotten them in the cases. But um, this was one. It's in good shape. It's really clean. 
but you can see the chrome on the motor and then what it what the battery acid does to it really starts to tear it up that's where you plugged it in see that battery acid really tears them up that's where you get to get, get them batteries out seeing um oh uh, dave williamson he's got a really nice uh original sizzlers collection you check his videos out and it's really neat this is a this is a video that I need to make the Tootsie Toys, these little tiny Tootsie Toy cars, which were like five and dime cars. And I, I need to do a full video on these because I have a large collection of these. Different castings, different all kinds of these Tootsie Toys. It's going to be a long Tootsie Toy video when I do that. They're not like 164th. They're a little bit smaller than a 164th. Let's see what other fire trucks we, we got here. This looks like the same as the first one I got, which is, which is okay. Cool. Yeah. A little very beat up. Missing a wheel and all. And it wouldn't go in my photograph because it's missing the white back. But that's cool. I just told them, hey, well, you know, all the fire trucks and we'll call it a deal. And they said, done deal. So he pulled them out. I didn't want to just tell him this over here. And he'd have a hard time. Here's a fire chief. Which I like this. This will probably go into my collection. I think mine are missing the hubcaps. This is a uh, play art, play art vehicle. Play art's a little tough to find and in any condition. And this one's, uh, well, I think I have one, but I think that's a better condition than mine. If we can. I see we're ripping through the backs of them a whole lot easier. This is a Matchbox Super Fast. Made in England. That's in clean shape. That one's nice. Got a little ladder. This is in nice shape. I was surprised to see that. A little dusty. We can clean that off. Yeah, I like that one. Here's another, this looks like a vintage, like more of a, uh, it's a, it's going to be a Matchbox Lindsay, but an earlier model. With the hard plastic wheels. It's still got its little ladder up there. That'll work. I like that. It's got a plastic base. Is that Matchbox? Yeah. That's Matchbox with a plastic base. Strange. Okay. I like it. I like it. Oh, we got to get to going, man. We're in 20 minutes. You guys have been watching me open these, and we haven't even gotten to the other box. I don't know if I'll save that, or um, maybe we'll just keep going. Another matchbox. This is the super fast thin wheel it's got its ladder which it popped right off i'm surprised it's still with the vehicle all right here's a kenner fast ones now i gotta do a whole kenner video and i keep saying i'm gonna do it but um the kenner fast ones i i have a huge collection of kenner fast ones and if you don't know what they were they were kenner fast ones they they had a, a license plate very distinctive off the back there and this is the emergency the van and the blue van I have the actual um, pre-production prototype Kenner one so we'll get into that video and we'll do a whole video on that oh we got the move we got the move and a Boring the heck out of you guys just watching me open cars and 
Enjoying life. Enjoying life. Checking out Matchbox and Hot Wheels. This one's cool and I do not have it. And it is clean besides the dust. Not bad at all. Really never seen that model in red. The Matchbox, super fast. If you don't know, this one has uh, opening doors. Oh, uh, two more. Then we'll get on to the next box. Now we got to see what else he sent me. Sent me so much stuff. Half hour video of, of opening cars from Mr. Kirby. Mr. Kirby. Oh. Here's another one. Oh, that's another fire. Okay, there you go. Now I got two of them. Yep, I had one for the display, and he sent me one because I needed it, and there's two, so there's two. And then I could put the other one back into my collection and keep working on my display. And then this last fire truck here, and we'll get into this little bonus something he sent me. This one we've already seen, and this one's in beat up condition. So we won't spend a lot of time on it, but it is uh, pretty much identical to this other fire truck. And what was this? What is this? Something pretty cool because, you know, I do collect like the oddball stuff and that's what it looks like. Something for the collection. The case is killing me. The case is killing me, Kirby. You didn't have to send me that case. Um, I know you enjoy your cases too. What is it? Oh my gosh, look at this. Hot Wheels sunglasses. Hot Wheels sunglasses. That is two for 99 cents wherever you got it. That is so cool. Now if you want, what I can do... I, I hate to open it because it would it kind of goes so cool with my collection. But I will open it and then uh if we do another trade, I'll send you a pair back and then we can both wear a pair on the video because I'll wear these. That that's hilarious. That is so cool, so cool. God now I don't know if I like that better than the case. Alright, well thank you, Curb. Don't forget to check them out on YouTube, Curb's Garage. Go look, like, subscribe. Let's open this other box. This one's from the Mafia. This is from the Mafia. Now these are paid in full cars. I had to buy these. Pay up. You gotta pay your dues to the Mafia. We got a blister pack. And should be blister pack and two cars. There they are. Hot Wheels Mafia. Check them out on Facebook. Jason Thomas. Thank you, buddy. And let's see what he sent me. I don't remember buying all these cars. I do not remember buying these cars. I bought these two. These Chevy Silverados. These are, um, let's check these out. Ugh. Did I buy these cars or did he just send them to me? You gotta let me know, Jason. What are these? Auto World. Look at this thing. Very heavy. Auto World. This thing is heavy. Look, the tailgate. Working tailgate. Does the hood open? Yeah, the, even the hood opens. Killer, killer, killer. Man, that is neat. This one is another one. Oh, so I yeah, I bought two of these in an auction. This is another Auto World working tailgate. I had like a root beer and a tan color. Oh my god, my father loved these colors, this combination together. 
the his uh old El Camino that I have now is is that tan color and just the dark browns. He loved that. These are Auto Worlds, very heavy, made beautifully, beautiful, beautiful cars. And then I remember buying this blister pack, but I don't remember buying these three. Why I would bid on this, I have no idea. So unless he threw these in, um, I'm going to have to ask him because I don't want to, if these are somebody else's cars and they've misboxed them, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to keep them. I'm not even going to take them out. They may have made a mistake and threw them in my box. So I will check with him. Just to be sure, because I could I could use an upgrade on my on my gold Corvette Cor, uh, Corvette there. That's the 25th anniversary. Probably this one too, with the spoke wheels. But um, let me check with him before I start uh, pretending like those are mine. And this is the blister pack that I got. Uh, a vintage blister. And we'll see. Let's see what we got here. Look how they package them real nice. They put the painter's tape on so they don't blow out the back. This is your classic, classic Packard. Not a crazy car, but I like it. I think it's killer. White wall. Basic wheels. This one is made in, let's see, Malaysia. It's got a Malaysia base. There wasn't a lot of variations of this. A couple black ones, and I think that was pretty much it. But I don't think I have one on the card. I have all the other variations. Here's your back. And it came out, let's see, 1982, 83 is when this was out so that is it that is all we got i thank you this is what started the curbs garage trade and i thank you buddy and that is it for this video it's been a long video and i'm i'm surprised you guys have stuck around but hey for a midweek video I think that's pretty good. Uh, Chewy says, don't forget, stay easy and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so when I post a video, you don't miss it. Stay easy and keep on turning Hot Wheels.